Still spinning it, baby. Hey, and I still don't know where the fuck we're being broadcast. I do. I thought we were supposed to be on feed number four today. Yeah, there was the big sign that said that, but... But all I see is bubbles and fish. Fish. Yeah, I wonder if anybody's even watching. No, look at the rooms. Refresh them see if there's more people. What a crazy week we just all had. Just Holy shit. The arrow one right there. The golden arrow right above the word rooms. Oh, it's a golden arrow. Golden, so like Charlie golden Charlie power of arrow shall refresh your rooms for Charlie you. Chocolate factory. Oh, we got like a... Who's fucking... Uh, Grant Lobby, Lobby one. one, quick. Lobby One's kicking ass. Yeah. Um, you know, I almost had... Uh, uh, Bron Jeremy's going to be coming down. Um, I wanted the two girls um, that... Well, yeah, what are you talking about, Dave? Yeah, we, like, I, I would start at the beginning. Start? There's so much to talk There's about. There's so much to start about. Basically, we just got done <laughs> Let's hold the, the award show. Let's hold the award show, because okay. that was last. So okay. um, we did uh, the finale, the let's, rap party. Yeah, let's do it, you know, we chronological did, uh, order. backyard interviews I did that everybody's going crazy over the uh, the April and Ollie backyard interview. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I can only imagine. Um, yeah, so we had the finale on Tuesday. Which is pretty awesome. You weren't in the audience, I noticed. Oh, yeah. No, are you like trying to stir it up? <laughs> a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper, I want to stir it um, up. Yeah, actually, there was a, uh, a, a... The invitation that went out said that um, they couldn't guarantee that our, our guests would sit in the audience with us. So uh, um, when I called and talked to her, I don't even know what the hell her name is. Um, I'm like, I was going to fly my... My cousin out from Florida, he's like a huge fan of the show from season one, and he's like really bummed that I, you know, auctioned my thing off and he didn't get to, for the last two seasons, yeah. know, eight and nine, um, hasn't got to like, you know, come out or anything. So, um, and uh, she goes, Oh, yeah, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. And at that point, I was pissed. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, what is this crap? Well, so, oh, she goes, She goes, uh, he, they might get stuck in the basement watching, they got a bunch of TV set up. And I'm like, you know the little party room the down green there. Room, yeah, yeah, it's yeah the green room. The, it's like a little party room that you know afterwards. But uh, what the fuck? I'm gonna fly somebody out from Florida to watch it on fucking TV? Yeah, no, exactly. seriously. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? So uh, I'm just like fuck that. So I wrote a letter and uh, sent it back to her, and it went like everywhere. Oh, did geez. you know it went? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it went everywhere. It All went I know everywhere. is the, the part of the story where John Wallman had. I saw him pull you aside and just like next. It went to him. Talk to me. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the executive producers. He's the voice that you hear. Yeah. Uh, please good. stop singing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don's. He's a great guy. I really like yeah, him. Yeah, he's really and, cool, uh, really down to earth. Yeah. Really so I don't know. I don't know. Well, obviously, it went to executive producer. So you know, it went. Yeah. It went or made the rounds. It made the um, rounds. This one letter. It's, it's just but I, what I said was that um, I'm. Uh, I'm not going to be bringing a guest and I will be sitting in the basement with the rest of the dregs that didn't make it <laughs> onto the audience. Well, that's what's so fucked up is that James had called, I told James Ryan to call and like, hey, you know, call them, call them. He's got such a mouth on him that he got in the audience. He was just talking to them and be like, oh, you know, I'd like to be in the audience, but if you can't, sweetheart, it's okay. Because it was like some intern he was talking to. Of course they're going to put the past house guests in the audience. They want the house guests. But you're past house guests. Yeah, past house guests. Jen, I'm not going to fly my cousin out from Florida Parker for him to sit. Um, oh, most of season nine. Yeah, most of season they were all nine. Sitting nobody in. That's was, true. Yeah, That's it was true. just like what Adam. Right. I think that it? any. Uh, to be honest with you, I think any of the house. I think that should be like you know one of the like little perks or privileges. You're on the goddamn show. Yeah. You embarrass the shit out of yourself, most of us. <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, you can see my dick on YouTube. Uh, um, <laughs> Joe's pubes all over the place. Um, that should be, you know, you should, should be, be able to sit of, yeah, in the audience. Exactly. It should be like a thing. That's <laughs> but there's there's so many people that they have to stroke. Yeah. You know. Um, that uh, Janelle didn't make it out this year. We didn't no, she Janelle didn't. At all. She's in real estate school. Yeah. Um, I, I love Janelle. Um, she's such a sweet. That's one of the reasons I was going to go. I'm I'm going to New York. I'm going to be taking a a, a month, and uh, and so just traveling. So now having met these house guests, I can actually need to physically interact with them. Any of your opinions change on anybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was talking Jesse to. Jesse was so much shorter than I ever could have imagined. Really? really yeah. Oh, maybe because I met him on house calls. I didn't see him being like really big though. Um, the one that I was surprised was from season nine was Josh. He was like a midget. Oh, yeah. I, I thought he was much taller than he was. He it's was funny like, when Libra came out of the house. Um, we both ran up to her because I was with Josh, and she goes, "Oh, hey, it's you guys." She goes, "Is it cool that your ex boyfriend's right there?" And um, Josh goes, "Libra, I'm not Dustin." And I go, "Oh yeah, you are. You're the shorter, fatter version, Josh." <laughs> 
laughed and laughed. Josh, no, he's actually great. Like, really. I'm, he was pretty fun. He was extremely over the top, pretty inebriated the entire time. But I don't like Josh. It, it was funny. It was funny. You'd see or hear the same. Like he had a reel of jokes he obviously had worked on previously, and it's that just so, kind of recycled so every weird, ten man. minutes. What if I had to hear one more time, I'm not fat. I'm just no Callista H- Flockhart with a penis. I was like, Josh, <laughs> he was nuts. Oh, God. It was just, Libra. Idiot. I was really impressed with Libra. Libra I really, I really like Libra. Was in love with me. Um, Smart. Rennie <laughs> was in love with me. Um, Rennie's husband was freaking amazing. Uh, Rennie's husband. You know, when I met him, he was. They were yelling at him to get in the audience. And since I was sitting in the basement with the rest of the dregs, um, I was outside smoking. And they're yelling at him, and he's like, turns around, and he goes. You just wait a minute. I'm about to talk to Evil Dick. <laughs> he's he up. was he was absolutely he was awesome. He's this guy. What is it? Scottish or Irish? Is uh, Scottish, Scottish. 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 Yeah. He. I can see how him and Rennie are a match made in heaven. Like, they're, they're different, but I can see different, yeah, larger than can, life. But they probably complement each other. Yes, very extremely well. well. Um, Rennie, I I absolutely adore Rennie. Yeah. Um, and I told her I will be seeing her um, in New Orleans, um, and she's gonna cook me. I'm going to New Orleans for her to cook me spaghetti and meatballs. Nice. <laughs> I was it. expecting like jambalaya. Or, yeah, you know, something. Yeah. Some kind of Cajun, Cajun stuff. But uh, oh, Rennie was look, overwhelmed a big when I fish. saw her. I thought we were supposed to be in Bucking Four. What the hell's going on here? Cook and refresh it. It doesn't refresh the feeds. We'll cook on four instead of all the ones. Yeah, we've been having problems um, trying to figure out where the damn show is. So thank you for uh, all the people who tuned in and stuff. Uh, I think the show's Congratulations, you guys should be fucking more. like detectives. I think the show's going <laughs> to get much more um, on the when they post to all of them. Yeah. Uh, and actually, the first two shows are going to be going another. up on YouTube. The show with Bridget. Nice. Uh, it, it That's out. a great show. Uh, the show with Bridget and the show with Puck. Nice. We'll be uh, really up on fun. YouTube sometime this uh, this week, and uh, um, the backyard interviews. Um, backyard interviews. Yeah. So after the show ends, we get to go. The certain people get to go in the backyard interview. Well, the members of the There's members like of the press. Squad. Yeah. Uh, which I'm not, but I work for Real Player. We're doing I heard Jen was back there with you. How'd that go? I hope MS MS Gen BC. MS Gen BC. Um, <laughs> she's. So weird. Do you know that she told everyone in the house guests when she's interviewing them that she's dating Nick now? Really? Yes. Oh God. She. I'm surprised she can conduct interviews because she can't like stop talking about herself. She can't. She's horrible. Don't you remember her with the questions with Julie Chen? <laughs> I, I. I would like. Uh, where are her interviews? That's going to be part of the next That's show. Something. Uh, okay. Let me write that down, please. Write it down. Uh, I'm serious. Pen and paper. Yeah. Uh, we have to. We have we to have do to that. Remember this. I'm going to do a whole show just on ripping on Jen on nice. interviews. Um, if we can rip on Jen, you know, personally, and I can have a part of this. Did you see Jen and Nick in the diary room kissing? No. <laughs> there was a picture up on. Uh, uh, I don't know what the fuck. I saw Nick. I didn't get to spend as much time with him. But somebody else I'd really like to rip on, honestly, Dick, is Maddie from season nine. Yeah, you know, Wiggy eyed Matt. You're talking about the mat that they made a pinball machine uh, online, and you had to get the ball in his eye. Really? No, <laughs> yeah. I missed that, and I'd be, I'd fucking love to play that, and I'd be a motherfucking high scorer on that. Um, shit. Matt was talking shit about me. He never said it to my face, but he said, you know, uh, when I'm somewhere else at the uh, rap party, um, he's just a douche. He's he, nobody's gonna remember who the yeah. fuck he is. So it's not even worth it because no yeah. one ever wants to think about Maddie again. And but I yeah, Maddie was talking shit too rude. because I've been ripping on Natalie. So well, she, where the fuck she was had, Natalie? Like, she didn't make it. No, she's busy. She opened up her um, her, her coffee strip bar boutique. Um, she, you know, has cream fresh from the tap where nice. she just squeezes her tit and puts it yeah, in there. Yeah, and she does little Bible reading lessons for the children. Uh, yeah, from her, you know, little pulpit. Yes. And uh, it calls the rest of them. So the backyard evildoers. interviews, Dick. Backyard interviews. Um, who else? Uh, we'll get to Rennie and, or no, I'm sorry, Allie and uh, April last. Um, um, Dan? Um so impressed with Dan. I like Dan. Hands down. I really Dan like Dan was a student guy. of the game. Dan overplayed the game. Um, I'm wondering how, how Dan's head is going to change over the coming months. And-